Emergency Management Agency, alongside other response agencies, have declared readiness for the partial closure of the Third Mainland Bridge for routine maintenance. The bridge will be closed from Friday, July the 24th of 2020 to Sunday, July the 24th of 2021. A SEMA spokesperson, Nusa Okumbo, disclosed this after a meeting with stakeholders, including the Director General Lasema Olufemi Okeo Saintolu, the DG, Lagos State Safety Commission, Larry Omojola. He stated that during the meeting, strategies were mapped out to deploy members of staff and equipment on land and water for the safety of the residents during the period of the partial closure of the bridge. Lasema has earmarked Ibuteiro and Ilaje as strategic locations for its ambulances and will mount its rescue boats in conjunction with the Lagos State Waterways Authority on all waterways of Lagos, while its marine unit will mount a 24-hour watch over the waterways with jet skies fully deployed particularly between the peak periods of 6.30 a.m. and 7 p.m., as a lot more passengers will be advised to travel through alternate routes and the waterways while the partial closure of the Lagos Third Mainland Bridge lasts. Away from that, the House of Representatives has queried the award of contract for three critical road projects under the Presidential Infrastructure Development Fund, PIDF, to the Julius Baja Construction Company over non-adherence to due process. The House Committee on Works, led by Honorable Abakar Kabir, says the issuance of a certificate of no objection to the multinational construction company did not put the interests of the public at heart and was done without following laid down public procurement rules. Lawmakers, while expressing their displeasure to the Director General of the Bureau of Public Procurement, says that the 400 kilometers road project awarded to a single contractor has slowed down the pace of the work. To the award of contracts to the respective contractors. The Public Procurement Act 2007 established the Bureau of Public Procurement to A ensure the establishment of pricing standards and benchmarks. Certificate of no objection, unless of, of course, unless you look at the appropriation act to ensure that that amount is in the, uh, in the appropriation act before you award either direct or, or, or whatever method of procurement. In justifying what you have done by issuing a certificate of no objection, on road for more than 400 kilometers to a single contractor. Parliament time is expensive. We are not here for a talk. We are here on the orders of the whole House of Representatives of the Ninth Assembly. And an honorable member is asking you a very, very important question that has to do and has consequences on the effect of Nigeria. You see, there was a time government wanted to make it a three-lane each side road. Because I keep asking questions, why is the project slow? Then they said, the design for the third lane was still being procured. So a contractor felt building two roads and later I just ask whether you are happy with what you saw. Just a simple question. Are you happy or not? Are you satisfied? Are you satisfied with the level of what you have seen? Well, it is, uh, okay. I think I thought I know the history. That is why I'm giving you the benefit of it. But if you say whether I'm happy, yes. primary school question answer. I'm not happy. That is why I kept asking questions.